Hello friends, welcome back to Hitech Billsoft channel. Today I am going to explain you how to use Hitech restaurant billing software. Take your restaurant to the next level with Hitech. Hitech restaurant billing software is user friendly and extremely easy to use, which comes with KOT, multi kitchen management, dine in, takeaway, table management, recipe, inventory, accounting, unlimited features. Open the software and go to settings. Click the billing option. From here, you will see billing engine option, which has three options general billing, point of sale, and restaurant. Click the restaurant option and close the current window. You will see a beautiful billing dashboard showing quick info. The graph distribution of your business for easy analysis. After that, you have to click the point of sale option. You will see an organized dashboard of your restaurant and now you can manage the transactions. Here you can see we have three sections of this window. One is the category part, second is the item name belonging to the main categories and third part is billing which is the most important part of the software. You can view various food items in your list by clicking the different main categories like burger, classic pizzas, dessert, milkshakes etc. For example, to view a burger, any kind of pizza by click the main category and you will see the full list of different items. Also, you can search the food items by using the item name option or the item code option for easy and fast viewing. On the top right corner of the screen, you can see the two options, dine in or takeaway option. Now let's say our waiter comes with a new order from our customer. We will add everything in the billing list. To start with, select the table number. Waiter, who is serving the order received from the respective table? Suppose the customer has ordered for chocolate cake. Now you will select the main category and choose the dessert main category and select chocolate cake in it. To increase the quantity, click the plus icon or to decrease the quantity, click the minus icon. To remove the item, click on the cross icon which is in red color. You can also generate the items KOT print by clicking the KOT option. You have also this option to add additional notes where you can type what your customer specifically wants. For example, if he wants a sugary cake or less sugared cake. I will show you how the printed KOT will look like. The KOT will look like this. Firstly, you will see a heading named as main kitchen which you have Predefined. You can always name the kitchen as according to you. For example, non veg kitchen, South Indian kitchen, veg kitchen, etc. Now we have a KOT number as 2 which is automatically generated and it will reset to 0 the next day. And once you start getting orders on the next day, it will again start generating the number. Below, it will we have the option of dine in or takeaway option as chosen by the customer. Now we will see the table number opted by the customer since it's a dine in option or otherwise we will get a token number in case of takeaway option. Below it we will have the description and quantity having the food item name and its quantity. Additional notes are there for customers specification. This is all about KOT table status for viewing the table status. Click on the table status option shown at the downside of the window or simply use the shortcut key Alt plus T. Now you will see a table status window having different table numbers which are occupied or assigned or available. If the table is occupied then you can see the start timing for which the table is booked and the waiter who is serving the customer and the bill on that table. In short, you can view the complete details for a particular order in the dine-in option. To load the occupied table order in the billing list, double click the table number option to load it or double click the available table in case you want to add a new order. As you can see below the table status window, the total payment due which is 2405 
which sums up all the orders that are due. In case you want to clear the complete occupied tables, click on the clear all tables option in red color. And in this way, no bill will be generated and all tables will be left as available. Swap table. We have a swap option as you can see on a screen on the top right corner, which can be used to swap the table orders. Suppose a table is having only 5% capacity, but you want to have a 6% capacity table. You can swap to a 6% table and use it. Then you will click on swap option. A small window is open which will show you swap details. That is from current table swapped to a new table. This will transfer all the food items to the new table. If you want to clear the items, clear it by using the clear option. If you want to remove a particular food item, click the red cross icon. Complete the details of the bill like bill type that taxable or non-taxable. In case you don't choose it, you will have a cash title attached after customer name. This is not a mandatory field. If you have a previous customer, fill in its contact details and address. In case you have a new customer, add name and contact number and address and it is saved in your list. Finally, we are going to generate a bill. Click it or use the shortcut key Ctrl plus S. A window is opened. You will see the amount to be paid. You will see the tendered amount as well as change due. Suppose you have a bill of 440 and the customer pays you 500 for this. The tender amount will be 500 and bill amount is 440 and change due is 60. High tech restaurant billing software has this smart features of a touch screen pause monitor. You can save and print this bill by clicking the save and print option. Bill will look something like this. If you want to have a takeaway option, click on it and choose the tax bill type that can be GST or non-GST and bill of supply. Add the contact number of your customer in the booked and address of your customer to be delivered. Choose the food items as according to your customer. And now you will be shown total amount of bill for that particular order on the left below corner. Select the payment mode which can be either card payment, cash, mobile wallet. If you want to generate the token number and KOT, go to settings, click on the printing. Enable the token number option as well as take away KOT. Now we will generate a bill or use the shortcut key Ctrl plus S. A window is opened. You will see the amount to be paid. You will see the tender amount as well as change due. Suppose you have a bill of 380 and the customer pays you 200 for this. The tender amount will be 200 and bill amount is 380 and change due is 1620. High-tech restaurant billing software has this smart feature of a touch screen pause monitor. You can save and print this bill by clicking the save and print option. Bill will look something like this. The bill has the high-tech logo on top of the bill list and below it is written tax invoice which can be taxable or non-taxable. Now down to it is the high-tech food plaza which is the name of the restaurant and you can have any name as according to your choice. Below it, you will have the address of your restaurant. Now we have bill number and date of transaction. Next, we have the table number and the waiter's name who has served the table. Below this line, we have the name of the customer and down to it, we have the customer's contact number and below it is the address of customer or the address to be delivered. We have a table below which has headings as serial number particulars, quantity of food items, rate, price of that food item and a final amount. Add different food items and rate of that food item and total amount is displayed in bold. Like you can see here, we have total quantity 6 and paid amount is 670. Down to it, we have GST as 5% and amount 638.09 cost 15.96 as GST 15.96. Thanks for keeping faith in us. Thanks for visiting as salutation to your customer. The QR code is shown at the bottom and user is the admin or any person printing the bill and time when the bill was generated.
Billing screen options points dark mode changes the background colors of your high tech software from light to dark to not only reduce eye strain, also you can see that we have given an option of dark mode and light mode in the software you can set accordingly. As you can see, there are many options given in the bottom of the screen. As you can see here, the very first option is history. From here, you can see the complete previous history. And also you can view and delete the bills by tapping into them. KOT history in the same way. The option of KOT history is given by using which you can view and delete the KOT history table reservation. After that, the option of reservation is given. From here, you can make the pre-booking entries on the reservation of your customer. As soon as the customer arrives, you can update the status from here, either by choosing the arrived or cancelled option. Closing report after that you can check the complete closing report by the end of the day. You can search it by putting the date filter at the same time. You can also see how much payment you have received through the payment modes and you can also take a printout of it. Closing report print will look something like this. Dashboard, a lot of shortcut keys are also given here. You can also use it and from here you can go directly to the dashboard. High tech software dashboard screen options staff management. You can add staff by clicking on to the add staff option. You can go to the master of adding the designation and department for them. And from here you can also do their salary setup due to which the salary will be generated automatically at the end of the month. You can mark the attendance of your staff from here or either you can also do it by using biometric attendance machine. Business reports, you can check the accounting and inventory related reports that is daily basis report, profit and loss summary daily expenses and inventory report and many more by going to reports. Kitchen master, then you can add different kitchen from the master by going to add kitchen option. For example, there are two kitchens, one for veg and the other one for non-veg. Different printers can be saved the kept. Table master, add new table in the same way. You can add multiple table from the table master option and can also add it and delete it from there. Add food dish, how to add products. So firstly, we have to go the master to the add the products. Now you see the one with the red as trig marks are mandatory to be filled. So now I'm going to add all the ingredients from here to make the coffee. So I will take coffee as my group and brand name high tech. Item code is something to categorize more deeply. So you can put alphanumeric value here as it is optional. So here I'll put hot coffee as my product name. Now here are the second option price details. So I'm putting the purchase price as 60 rupees and the selling price 80 rupees. Two more options are here. You can also put the minimum sale price and MRP from here. And the third option is stock and unit details. So I will select NOS accordingly. We have multiples option here. Then opening is something that we already have a product as we are going to prepare the recipe. So we do not need to do that. If it has a GST rate and you want them to be added, so you can manually write here. If you want to put the discount rate, you can do so from here. Low level limit is something that if we put any of the numeric value as your stock goes under the value, then it will show you on reports so that you can manage your inventory accordingly. You can select the product type from here. If it is a general item, we will choose the prepared option. If it is ingredients, we will choose general. If you want to put any description about the product, so you can add it from here. If you want to take the print of KOT, then enable the option. If you want to put the item in not for sale, so you can enable this option. Similarly, you have to add all the ingredients required to prepare the recipe. Recipes management. You can add all your ingredients by going to the add products option and saved it after going to the add recipe in master. You can put the prepared item name from here. After that, all the ingredients are here. You can add them by searching the item name in the box and can save it. 
By going to search and manage recipes, you can check the list of recipes and can also edit and delete it from here. Mobile app Hitech also provides a mobile app to the business owners so that they can view all their business transactions from anywhere. Android app in our software, you will get an Android application in paid version where you can check your daily and monthly business activities like sales and purchase amount with due amount. Expenses. Expenses by going to expenses. You can add and manage your business expenses and can also save and print it. Printers. Multi printers can be added into the software. Different kitchens can set up and keep with different printers of 58 mm and 72 mm. That's all for today. If you have any query, put it down in the comment section and for more details, visit www.hitechbuildsoft.com. If you find this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up, share it with your family members and friends and do subscribe to the channel for this kind of amazing tutorial. We value your business. Build it with high tech. Thank you.